Today, I thought I would do a sequel of the Lemonade Vibrant and Colorful Summer Makeup tutorial I did a while back, except for today we're doing Pink Lemonade. And once again, I am starting with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Made in shade Top and lightly just making small strokes across my eyebrows. On top of that, I am then using the Benefit Gimme Brows to set my eyebrows in place and keep them there. For my eyeshadow base, I am using the Urban Decay Anti-Aging Eyeshadow Primer. Honestly, I prefer the non-anti-aging one simply because this one honestly does not do much and concealer would do a much better job at this. Uh, but this is what I have at the moment, so I'm using that. And then on top of that, I am thickly layering the shade Peach Cream from the White Peach Too Faced palette. The main reason I'm doing this is to ensure that my eyeshadow primer isn't super wet anymore and doesn't cause any patches when I apply the actual colorful eyeshadow. As you can see here, I blend this almost past the point that I would apply my eyeshadow and the reason I do this is because I get the feeling that my eyeshadow ends up blending better. Next, I'm using this BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil eyeshadow palette and this fluffy eyeshadow brush, which I coat very thickly in this pink color. I don't think they named their colors, so I hope this close-up helped you. But what I do then is just apply this to my crease and note that I mostly start at the outer corner and work my way inwards because the most product is then placed at the edge. Thereafter, I then use this other pink shade and also once again start at the edge and blend inwards. As you can see, at the same time, I'm also slightly stroking outwards to create a wing that I build over multiple different goes so that the product slowly builds, which enables me to kind of fix it if I mess up a little bit. On top of that, I'm then using this darker shade of pink to define the outer edges some more and give the entire eye a little bit more depth. This helps create a much more vibrant eyeshadow look and also allows me to create a little bit of an ombre effect across the crease. In general, I absolutely love the colorful eyeshadow of this eyeshadow palette. However, I've realized that you need to build a lot of product up to create that pop of color and it also has substantial fallout, which you can see, but I don't really think that's a negative considering that this was a very affordable palette. For the waterline, I'm dipping this Claire's flat brush into the pink shade and starting at the outer edge and working my way inwards. I'm using the slightly darker shade at the outer edge, whereas I'm using the slightly lighter shade for the inner corner. This mainly serves the purpose of making my eye look a little bit more open because if you apply too many things to your waterline, especially if they're dark colors, it makes your eyes look very small. And using a slightly lighter pink shade just makes my eye look a little bit more open, even though obviously it won't fix everything. Since there was a lot of fallout, I decided to use these baby makeup wipes to clean up the mess that I created. Next, I used this flat brush from Claire's and the IT Cosmetics concealer to create a bit of a cut crease. So I first placed the concealer on my hand and then I tried to dab off as much concealer as possible to ensure that there wasn't a lot of concealer. This was my first time creating a cut crease and to be honest, I did end up using too much concealer by accident because I accidentally also put too much concealer on the back of my hand, which I couldn't get off of the brush entirely. But essentially what you're trying to do is draw a line across where your natural crease is and then fill concealer in the inner corner of your lid. Thereafter, I used this chrome yellow eyeshadow because this is a lemonade makeup tutorial and therefore we need bright yellow and more colors. For this, I used an angled brush that came in the same set as the other Claire's eyeshadow brush to pack on layer after layer of this yellow eyeshadow. Because I did use too much concealer, this did unfortunately clump a little bit, so do not make my mistake and just use a little bit less concealer. I would also recommend that occasionally you wipe off the brush with a tissue or something because the eyeshadow does tend to get stuck on there due to the concealer a little bit as well. Once I finished that, I once again returned to the darkest pink shade and used this fluffy brush to sort of blend the yellow and pink together. This helped make the transition a little smoother rather than having a sharp line. Thereafter, I applied this Essence eyeliner, which is a pure black eyeliner, as well as this Maybelline eyeliner and I'm not that talented yet, so I apply this off camera. For mascara, I used this Bad Gal Lash by Benefit as well as the Clinique mascara and applied two coats, both to the top and the bottom, 
to give it that extra volume that we all love and appreciate. Next, I use my favorite concealer, AKA the NARS Vanilla Light 2 Concealer. This one was brand new, which is why I didn't use it earlier for the cut crease, but I did use it under my eyes to brighten my eyes up a little bit and cover up any remaining fallout that I didn't manage to get away. And then also to do any other areas of my face that maybe needed some touching up. I personally don't use foundation and I find this works much better for me personally because it's a little bit more targeted. And I can use a beauty blender to blend it into all the areas I want it to be, whereas the rest of my face gets to breathe. Once I finished blending that out, I used the NYX HD Translucent Setting Powder and this Real Techniques brush to set all of the concealer into place and keep it where it's supposed to be because we don't want stuff moving around. For this, I just use a slight dabbing and sweeping motion because it's honestly just the easiest. Moving on, we come to bronzer. For this, I use my very trusty Park Ave Princess by Tarte. Per usual, I applied this in a three formation and I tried to not use too much and just blend it out super well because I feel like bronzer is always better when you blend better. <laughs> then I use this cream highlighter, which is my absolute favorite highlighter because it creates a very natural glow, I find. And I applied that above and below my eyebrow, on my nose and on my chin and above my lip. And then also obviously on my cheekbone a little bit just because those are sort of the areas where light hits naturally. For lips, I first applied this lipstick by Revlon in the shade Fuxia Fusion and I know you should choose between eyes and lips but since this is a colorful summer makeup look, I decided we're gonna do both. To add a bit of color repetition, I also then decided to apply this Kylie Jenner limited edition gold lip gloss onto the center of my lip to match the yellow eyeshadow and finally I use this all-nighter setting spray and we are done!